Hey Blue Table fans, it's time for your studio update, the portion of the program where we go around and look at what is going on. Alright guys, entertain, entertain the fans. Hi fans. I'm not even going to say anything, you're just going to carry it. Well, we've got more games. You hate the play. How dare you come into my dungeon? No! This is my dungeon. No. Please. <laughs> Save this. <laughs> no, he's he's letting it go. He's letting it go. I, I want to yeah, see these. I think these are fantastic. <laughs> that is super cool. So this is from the Super Dungeon Explorer. No, expansion? this is, this is uh, from Descent. Descent. We need to check out these guys too. That's great. I love the. Uh, oh, these are really cool. Awesome. This reminds me of like the Ot use from D and D, somewhat similar. Ot use? I've never even. Neo Ot use. Well, the Ot use. Oh, Neo Otiugs. Yeah, they live in trash or whatever, but they just remind me of something like right. these are more no, Absolutely fun. Yeah, these All are right. cool. Thanks. Hey, let me see one of those fire elementals. Ooh, this one's done here. It's actually fire, wind, earth, and air elemental all in one. <laughs> Check it out. That's really neat. That is really neat. All right, thanks. Thanks a lot, guys. Hey, John, how's it going? What are you working on? I'm working on dark nights. I'm gonna see if I can get a super close up on your guys from all the way over here. Yep, it's working. It's working. You can't see my hands shaking yet. Well, maybe a little bit. That's awesome. All right, thanks. Hey, Stud, I want to see that that Forge World model. Forge World model. Forge World model. The flyer that you were. I don't know what that thing's called. I think Santa just took it out and run it. Oh, okay. It's well, off it goes. But, All right. Um, you want to come? You well, come back. you've got nothing. Now? Yeah, go ahead. All right. So, a customer saw Kadai Destroyer. Yeah, saw us do the Kadai Destroyers and said, "Hey, I want the Kadai Destroyer, but with the cool head that you guys have got going." Right. So here that that um the bowl head bin, that bin right. dread bin. That's what I call him, by the way, Dread okay. Bin. The other bin, bin is is Hawk Bin. Hawk, Hawk Bin. Hawk Bin and Dread Bin. Okay. So just Hawk and Dread. So here's the head, and we're currently hardening another another uh, another uh, horn. Horn. For that. Probably do it like that. Okay. Not really sure which way we're gonna do it yet. So there's the head, and then he wanted a slash between like a lava style and a uh, barren. So I'm gonna put some, some gravel on top of some of this here and then just, yeah, this would be, be like he's on a lava field. Yeah, a lava field. And then he wanted some of those, rather than doing their, the regular head the model comes with on the mace, right. he wanted to a have- A Kofesh style thing. I mean, I like this one because it's thicker than the other ones that we yeah, had. Yeah, well, thanks. I, I got a, I, all, I, all I saw was a picture, so I had to draw the picture from the computer upstairs, and then I kind of just made it up. So, All right, fantastic. Thank you very much. Yeah. The air is thick with tension because we had, yeah, that's right. We had a competition where each pod produced a uh, an infinity army, and the judgment results are still pending for that. So maybe I should go up and take a look at them. Let you take a look. All right, Mason, come on, give us an update. No, 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 I'm not involved. No matter what happens, no matter who's disgruntled, I want you to know I have nothing to do with it. Oh, we're not disgruntled. I'm we washing my hands. Okay, fantastic. All right, so you're working on these Dark Eldar then? This is a this is the classic color scheme from the book. Is that what the client requested? Yes. It was the previous one that I guess Josh had already painted up, actually. Okay, great. Oh, and look at this. There's actually some Saignar in here. Oh. Is that, is that, is that a different project? Two separate projects, yeah. Okay, fantastic. He wants that, his, uh, that makes sense. Boba separate, fetish. Right. That doesn't sound right, but... Boba <laughs> fetish? <laughs> it's like, mean come out need to way. satisfy your Boba fetish? <laughs> come on over to the Boba Hut. That's the thing now. <laughs> where you can get all things Boba. Wow. Uh, and awesome. more. And more. Going to new phrase. All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot. These guys judging the infinity contest, making sure the quality is there. And here we get. Here are here are clients who ordered. Let's see if I can get that. I'm, I'm going to do a closer look on these guys later on. So these are clients that ordered our infinity beta special. So this is what you get. You get a bag with plenty of room for other stuff. It's eight to twelve figures. Um, and 
uh, and there's plenty of room for expansion in there. These are 200 point armies, which are, is how you play Infinity. And Mike and Robbie had a game of Infinity, as you can see by the extremely dense terrain, and that bat rep should be up probably today. Okay, Brett, you gotta carry the day. All right. Nobody else has said anything interesting for the studio. Drop Zone Kennedy's came in today. Drop Zone Commander. That's right. <laughs> That's right. We are excited. Very excited. Brett is playing Post Human Republic. Correct. And I'm playing Shaltari. But we got in. We got Post Human Republic and we got the United, United Colonies, Colonies of Man. Yeah. And then the Shaltari is coming tomorrow. All right, fantastic. And ordering, ordering's going very ordering smoothly. Going very smoothly right For now. those that don't know, Brett is in charge of the ordering department. That Correct. means when people want models, I, he has to get the models get the for models. you. Yep. And that is, it is quite a log rolling dance for that. Very, we have at yeah. least 10 sources that we try and scramble and get everything in. Yes, but we're working on narrowing yeah. that down to- Oh, vast improvements. Yes. Sorry, I interrupted really good you. Stuff. No, you're fine. We've got some really good stuff in store that's gonna help us um, make this much more efficient and streamlined for you guys. All right, thanks a lot, right. Brett. Trade stock ambush! Hey, Robbie, guess what? You're on camera. Hey. Tell us, ah, oh, he's ready. He's ready yeah. this time. What's new in trade stock? Um, I got some high elves in and just put them together. Um, some of the kind of the older metal models, but I still like the, the models. I think All right, nice. and some new in box some, dwarfs. Yeah, dwarfs. Fantastic. You put up a bunch of AT43 stuff, great for conversions. Yeah, I did. Right, what's awesome. this guy here? This guy's neat. Yeah, these I've are never even seen this figure before. That's super cool. Okay, what else? What else you got? Come on, don't hold out, because I've seen what's in these bins over here. I've seen them, Robbie. Been confirmed yet. What, the, the space wolves haven't yeah, been confirmed yet? Yeah. All right, well, we got some space wolves well, we coming, possibly. Right? Coming up, some different stuff. Okay, you know, it looks like a mess, but Robbie makes it beautiful and gets it in nice, neat, numbered lots for you. That's all I've got for trade stock for right now, so. Thank you. Uh, don't forget to send us the list of models that you want to trade in. We'll give you a credit for them. It's like a gift certificate. You can use it for our services of painting and assembly, which we love. You can use it to buy things off the web store, which is the most bang for your buck. Or you can get brand new models of your choice, almost without limitation, from our ordering department. So. It's, it's a great way to get your painted army going. All right, uh, I think that's it for the studio update. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you got your inspiration for the Go. Okay. You're up. So Impress wait. me. Storm Eagle. Show me how awesome it is. This thing, I looked up the rules for it, is basically like... So hold on. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to interrupt. Okay. But there's Storm Raven. Storm Raven. Storm Talon. Storm Talon. Which is a smaller one. And Storm Eagle. Storm Eagle. Eagle's the big one. Eagle's... Bigger, yes. It's not necessarily better. Okay, I'm it's ready. About 30, it's 235 points, so it's, it's about the same points value as a Storm Raven. Okay. The difference is Storm Ravens can carry 10 guys. Okay. This has a little bit more armament, uh -huh. um, but different kinds of armament. And the Storm, uh, Storm Raven, Raven can bring 10 guys and is an assault vehicle and has a, can, can bring a dreadnought. I okay. don't know, I, I don't remember if this guy's a, a assault vehicle or not, but it can bring 20 guys. Oh, okay, so um, it has an increased carrying capacity. It has capacity. an incre increased carrying capacity, but has less weaponry. Okay, well, I mean, not less more of a transport different, then. Different kind of weaponry. Okay, like can you just the, systematically just kind of be rotating that? Rotate this way then, too. Yeah, well, however, while, while you're talking. Yeah, right. um, well, let's see the, the. I was gonna add some. I was wings gonna add on. pieces. On. Sorry, go ahead. I was gonna go add ahead. pieces. I'm on. ready. So this guy, he wanted to magnetize the wings, magnetized so that you could, so he could transport it easily. Okay. Um, so we got the wings magnetized. This. Okay. Can, yeah, straighten the other one. Okay. And so that's what that looks like. These. Magnetized. Yeah, and th those actually aren't too heavy. Well, I put a lot of magnet on them too. Right. And then. Um, obviously, it still has the nose mount, so you can switch it out between 
a single. Uh, so it has the three things. Yeah, then? a single missile. Bolters, or the multi melta, or, or the heavy bolters. I don't even know if it can bring the heavy bolter for sure. Then the underwings can be. Uh, the wings can be either missiles or las cans. Can you put that in? But you don't get the. Um, you don't get the plasma cannon option, and you don't get the uh, whatever the other twin linked option was. I can't remember what it was. And then. Um, All right, that sounds good. And then of course it goes on here like this. Oh, and that's magnetized too. I just heard a click. Yes, I'm magnetized. So it kitties, it remember whenever you're dealing with magnets, um, you got to you got to roll the model on, and because if you go on directly, it might crack the magnet. Yeah, it might pop the magnet off. Right. Crack it off. The other thing about it is. If you get this model, I definitely suggest... Not for children. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry, no, I, I interjected. No, absolutely fine. I definitely suggest that you uh, magnetize it. Because when I was looking at it, I mean, here's the thing. Forge World brings out amazing, beautiful miniatures. Really right. cool conversions and stuff. The problem is their molding is not perfect. It often comes, and I'm sure everyone's experienced this, twisted up, misformed, bubbles, messed up. I mean, it's almost as bad as fine cast. This model, because of the weight and whatnot, and because of the way that the that it usually you have you have foul trees and whatnot mounted. If you see, this is how I, I just cut out, cut out around it and mounted the magnet in uh -huh. the place where it was going to be right. where you would have mounted this. It wasn't going to stick. Like I, right. I I tried to get it to work normally without putting the magnet on first. It didn't work. doesn't go. So pro tip. So you had to do magnetize that. Magnetize this. Magnetize this baby. It will, it will that's good. Now I see better. these kind of falling off. Is that? That's one, not the yeah, normal it's, thing, right? It's, 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 it's because they're back. not straight yeah, on there. It's because you want it. Yeah, we're good. So no, I'm just, go I'm just back. saying. Yeah, normally they don't do that. It's just that. Uh, yeah, he just put on that particular one. Yep. Um, so that it, the magnet wasn't touching all the way there. Anyway, just felt like I wanted to clarify that. So there you go. And that's the trick with magnets is how are you going to do it so it's just the right amount of pull and that, uh, that it works. Okay, thanks a lot, Thomas.